From the scorching heat to the bone dry conditions, Australia was a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. But what set off the spark that would ignite one of the worst wildfire seasons in the country's history? The 2019 and 2020 bushfire seasons have been among the worst in Australian history. Thousands of homes were destroyed, and more than 33 people and 1 billion animals lost their lives as a result of the devastating fires. Over 24 million hectares of land were burned, and thousands of homes were destroyed. The causes of the bushfires are multifaceted, with natural and human factors both contributing to the catastrophe. Do you want to know more about Australian fires? The bushfires were a result of climate change. What role did it play? What were the human activities that contributed to the fire spread? As a result of exploring these questions, we can gain insight into the complex factors that led to the bushfires and how future disasters can be prevented and mitigated. Factors contributing to Australian bushfires As a result of the outbreak of bushfires in Australia, the secluded island country with diverse flora and fauna is seldom in the news. Bushes, forests, parks and etc. in this country get destroyed in this fire. A total of 19 million hectares of pastures, forests and other land were destroyed. Greenery, animal life and properties were heavily damaged in Australia. In 2019, this fire broke out and it continued until the summer of 2020. Firefighters and scientists disagree on whether or not the Queensland and New South Wales fires were natural. Over the years, they have noticed that the intensity of Australian bushfires is increasing. We need to understand what bushfires are. Bushfires are what they sound like. As a result of dryness and winds, bushfires spread quickly into other areas once they break out in bushland. In bushlands, woodlands, scrublands, savannas and grasslands, it is considered a type of wildfire that spreads rapidly. The spread of this type of fire is extremely fast, and it goes in every direction at the same time. Australian Bushfires 2019-2020 to There was a particularly severe case on the island of Australia. In 2019, a devastating bushfire broke out in Australia and burned into the summer of 2020. Although this type of fire occurs every year in Australia, this one was particularly devastating and caught the world's attention. Approximately 12.6 million hectares of grassland, bushland and forest were destroyed. Nearly 6.4 million hectares of the cityscape were destroyed. The fire resulted in the destruction of more than 3,094 houses. In this devastating incident, 33 people lost their lives. In the wake of this wildfire, the government estimates that nearly 1.25 billion animals perished. As a result of this fire, it is estimated that nearly 3 billion animals were affected. Australia's bushfires in 2019 and 2020 Causes and Consequences The dry climate in Australia contributes to the formation and spreading of wildfires. As a result of this year's high temperature, the bushlands were more dry than usual. Due to the hot and dry weather, this bushfire in Australia is incredibly large and uncontrollable. It is common for bushfires to occur on the island, according to civilians. The same thing happens almost every year. The cause of some bushfires is man-made, and they are under control. There has been a record-breaking performance this time. There were more than 19 million hectares of burned land. Fires of this type are caused by natural phenomena. Trees and bushes that are dry catch fire immediately when lightning strikes them. As a result of the winds, the fire quickly spreads to other bushy plants and trees in the area. As the Australian forest fire spreads, the temperature of the surrounding land rises, resulting in a prolonged action of the fire engulfing the bushlands closer to the fire. Science experts and nature experts say that hot weather and high temperatures contribute to bushfires. Global warming is one of the primary causes of Australian bushfires. In recent years, droughts have become more frequent. In the current climate, fires are spreading faster and uncontrollably. It is possible to observe widespread damage. Man-made causes are also responsible for bushfires, apart from natural causes. A bushfire can start very quickly when electrical lines arched, building was done and burning items were discarded carelessly in a dry area. Wildfires are generally caused by these causes, so we must be very careful. Climate change in Australia as a result of bushfires A massive amount of carbon dioxide has been released into the atmosphere as a result of the bushfires in Australia. Carbon dioxide has been estimated to have evolved in the atmosphere at a rate of nearly 400 megatons. There are a lot of breathing problems among civilians resulting from the high level of air pollution in Australia. 
As a result, the increase in temperature will affect all parts of the world. Consequently, summer seasons will be warmer, droughts will be stronger and bushfires will be bigger. It has been observed that the animal population has decreased significantly. In particular, the population of koala bears has been affected. There has been the greatest suffering among slow-moving animals. In order to help population bounce back more quickly, the natural habitat of the animals is being restored. Are there any ways to stop the bushfires? Planting trees is helping the government restore the land affected by the bushfire. It is possible for bushlands and forests to regenerate themselves, but it would be beneficial to give them a helping hand. Among the benefits of reforestation are the improvement of soil quality and the prevention of erosion. It is also possible for us to do our part from all over the world. Electricity should be used judiciously to reduce carbon emissions. The use of resources need to be reused and recycled more. For the atmosphere to absorb more carbon dioxide, more water bodies must be created and more trees need to be planted. Rain will also be produced more easily if more trees are planted and water bodies are created. Likewise, we need to prepare for natural disasters that can annihilate life within a short time frame. Thousands of years were spent forming the forest and bushlands, but they were destroyed within a year. Thus, we must reduce bushfires devastating effects by addressing climate change. Thank you for joining me today and taking the time to watch this video. I hope you find it informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this one. Your feedback is valuable to us, so please leave your thoughts and suggestions below. Until next time, stay safe and take care.